Hi, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. And in this module, we're gonna be looking at the waffle chart. Now the waffle chart is a really interesting visual and you'll find a lot of proponents or really people that don't like pie charts tend to like the waffle chart because it's much better at representing, representing a percentage of data. Now the waffle chart is a 10 by 10 grid, usually made up of dots that show you a percentage. So you can see one dot for every percentage value that you're trying to analyze here. So it's much better at a pie, than a pie chart at trying to show proportional amounts of data. There's some interesting things that you can do with the waffle chart, including being able to use an SVG path, which we'll talk briefly about here. It's not really our focus for this session, but it will talk about it briefly because it allows you to actually change what the waffle chart shows as those dots. Typically, you'll see dots like you see underneath Amy's name here, but you can actually change those dots. And instead of showing dots, you can show different symbols using the SVG path field that we're going to look at. So we're going to talk about that briefly, but let's first walk you through how to go download this, where to start to import it in the Power BI desktop, and then how to use it in an example. This one is made by Microsoft. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so our first stop here is to go to the Power BI Custom Visual Gallery. If you go to visuals.powerbi.com, that will get you where you need to go. And then you'll scroll down in the gallery until you find the waffle chart. So the waffle chart's about halfway down here, at least it is right now. And once you find the waffle chart, go ahead and select it and then choose to download it. And then that'll be make it available. And you want to make sure you save that somewhere you can find it later. You can also download the samples that Microsoft leaves and makes available to you. So you can kind of see how others have used the waffle chart in different examples. So you can kind of see a screenshot of what some of those examples might look like. All right, now though for uh, our example, what we're going to do is we're going to now go into the Power BI desktop. And from inside of the Power BI desktop, we're going to walk through an example as we look at the users that are actually attending courses. Now this is made up data, but what we're gonna look at is course attendance based on the overall amount of users that use our training content, okay? So it's all fake data, but we're gonna look at a certain number of users and then how many of them are actually completing the courses that we have. All right, so to do this, we're gonna start by going to get the data. We'll go up to the get data section here and we'll select Excel. And we're gonna choose the training coursework file that you have available to you as well and we'll hit open. Now, once we've selected that file, you'll find here the completed course spreadsheet that we can select, and you can see what the data looks like. Here's the four courses that we offer. Here's the total number of students that we have, and then here's the number that are actually actively using the courses. We'll talk a little bit more about the path as we get closer to needing it, but for now, let's go ahead and hit load and bring this data into Power BI. Now, with this data loaded in the Power BI, we wanna also go ahead and bring in our custom visual, the waffle chart, by hitting the ellipses here underneath the visualizations pane. We can then select import a custom visual and then hit import again, and then go find the custom visual and you probably have saved them all in hopefully one easy to find location. In my case, I've saved it underneath this custom visuals folder and I'll select the waffle chart. All right, now when I select that, you can see that it's now available inside the custom visuals or really the visualizations pane here. And I can add that into my report. You may also want to bring in some simple kind of tables. So maybe I just want to see the courses, the active users and total users. I may want to bring that into some kind of a table here so we can analyze it as well. And that way we can also be able to test out any kind of cross filtering that we may want to see in this report. All right, so now with the waffle chart that we have on the left hand side, I have a table here that we can look at. But if we want to actually represent this in a waffle chart, I can start to bring in some of the data in the fields that you see on the field well here. We'll start by bringing in the display name group. Now the group here is gonna be kind of how do you wanna categorically split it up. And in our case, we wanna split up each of these into new waffles based on the courses that we have. So I'll select course and you can see we have here a new waffle for each course. The waffles are completely blank because we haven't told it where the data is coming from yet. Uh, we haven't told it any metric data, I should say. So then we'll tell it what kind of metric data we wanna analyze and we wanna analyze active users. So I'll select active user here. And it starts off by getting, uh, giving us a percent, but that percent isn't really completely accurate because you can see here that this isn't a percent of the total users. This is kind of a percent showing you the highest values that we have. So what we'd right, rather do instead is we wanna compare the active users to the total users. And the way we can do that is by dropping in the total users here in the max value section here. So if I drop in the total users underneath the max value, you'll notice that adjust here and we can actually see a true percentage in the waffle chart now. We can see that 4,522 out of 5,000 is roughly 90% of our users. We see 11% for our MDS and DQS class, 
Our introduction to SSIS has 77% and our advanced DAX class has 55%. So it's an interesting way to visualize this. A couple things that are nice about this. There is cross-filtering. So as I select the waffle chart here, you'll notice it filters down my table. Uh, you can select any one of these, and you'll notice that it filters appropriately for you. You can also resize this if you wanted to. So as you kind of shift things around, it auto-resizes, which is nice as well. And you can also change the sort order. So if you want to affect the sort order of this, you can come up to the top right here where it says More Options, and you can sort it by one of the other measures that you have as part of the visual. So I can sort it by course, which it's already doing right now. Or I can sort by, let's say, the active users, and you can kind of see it resorts it. It almost looks like a, a bar chart here made of dots. So it's a nice way to be able to visualize here, and you can, like I said, resort the data if you needed to, and you can resize it as well if you want to see it represented a little larger. The other thing that you can do in here as well is if you go underneath the format paintbrush, so if I make sure I have the waffle chart selected, go over to the format paintbrush, you'll see there's not a whole lot of visualization customizations you can do. But what you will find is underneath this visual data point section right here, you can change the colors of each of the values that you have here to be individual colors that you prefer. So if I want to specifically select a certain color, maybe I want Power BI to be yellow, maybe I want SSIS to be black, maybe I want uh, Advanced DAX to be purple, and then you can change any of these others. You can kind of come in here and play around with the colors some if you would like. You can also go around and say, I want all the colors to be one particular color. If you hadn't changed the ones below, you could change them all to be a certain default value that you see here. So I've kind of changed the colors here based on my preference. Again, if I hadn't changed from the default, they would all be based off of the top value that you see here. The one other thing that we haven't talked about yet is the path value. So let's go back over here to the field well. I'll go back to fields. And you'll notice there's this path section. And basically what the path section uses is the SVG path. And it's kind of a little coding that you can see. If you look under the data section here, you can actually see what it looks like. You can see there's a path column here. And inside that path column, this is where it's pulling in how to represent the icon or some, some kind of little avatar for the dots that you see here. So if you don't want to see basic little circles, you want to see something else, you can use and research on your own SVG paths, and you can find different codes that you can use to represent the value that you see here inside each of these waffle charts. So if I want to do that, I actually have a different SVG path for each of these. And if I want to see what that looks like, I can take the path column and I can drag it into the paths section here. And you can see that now I have a different icon. This one, the advanced DAX one, really looks like a waffle now. But you can see I have kind of these upside down triangles, these regular triangles, these kind of semicircles. So you can kind of use the SVG path as a way to import other ways to visualize as opposed to just plain old circles. If you don't want the circles, you can do one of these other ones. And a, a quick, quick uh, Google or Bing search will help you find other types of SVG paths that you can use and you can plug into the waffle chart here. Well, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the waffle chart. Look forward to showing you our next custom visual our next time. Thanks a lot.